So today uh, we actually have another lunch trailer over here. We take a seat inside the truck. Okay, so I came down to um, the dealerships down here in the Colonial Heights region, and when we when we got down here, there was another lunch trailer down here. Now, if you guys remember, um, if anybody's paying attention, or if you go through the video log, uh, about a month and a um, over a month now, I had a uh, uh, another stop at a, a different dealership in uh, Henrico in January, and at that dealership, I had got there first. But the lady had actually scheduled another lunch trailer at the same day. It was actually the guy that's here with me today. Really cool guy, by the way. I really appreciate everything he's, he, he's spoken about since, uh, since us with us talking. Um, but uh, so when we was coming off the highway, I could see another trailer here. And I'm like, wow, what, what's going on? There's never another trailer here. Good thing is there's more than enough business around here. I'm not tripping about it at all. I didn't make as much as I normally do, but that's cool too. You know, you win some, you lose some. That's fine. Uh, there's there's more than enough people down here for both of us to, even a third trailer, honestly. If it, once it gets busy down here, because the day's not hot like the other days were. So uh, we actually, there's actually room for more down here, but let's keep it at us too so we can make as much as we can. But um, so we got off the highway and the trailer was sitting over here and I'm like, oh man, that's that one guy that I took his spot when he was supposed to be there before. So, you know, things happen. And uh, I'm kind of glad I did meet him and we actually got to sit and talk because he has some valuable information that I can use and I actually has some value, valuable information he can use because he actually uh, paid for uh, his trailer to be built and he's thinking about doing another one. Being that I built my own trailer, there you go. So it's actually a good thing that I actually got to sit and talk with him and meet him. Really cool guy. Uh, he's actually been a chef. I'm not a chef. That's the thing about it. I'm a businessman. I'm not a chef. I can cook, but he's a chef. So I can learn some things from him in organization and, and, and food prep and all that good stuff. I can actually learn some things from him. And I will gladly take whatever he offers uh, in, in the knowledge department. But... Um, so uh, we're probably both about to wrap up within 30 minutes. Uh, it's 120 right now. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, just another day down here. Still, we're not getting the majority of the people out here because if the majority of the people were to come over here, we would be, we both would be swamped. Um, and you know, maybe one day it'll happen like that. But he actually said, uh, if he ends up getting double booked again, like he had got booked previously when we were talking, he said he'll give me a shout out to see if I can go do one, of his, uh, do one of his jobs for him, which is cool. He's been doing this since 2017, so his knowledge is invaluable to the direction I'm trying to go. But he also has people that might want to get a trailer built. I know how to build trailers. So you see, one hand washes the other. Like I said, I didn't, I'm, I'm not making as much money as I could have. He actually had a line. One of the dealers actually called him down for today, so he they were prepared for him and everything. I just come on a whim every Friday, basically, and here I am. Take me or don't take me, I guess. <laughs> but uh, no complaints out of me. It's still been an okay day. Uh, so in about 30 minutes, we'll wrap her up. And that's his setup. He has one of those really expensive windows. Those windows are so expensive. I wanted to put one of those windows in my trailer, but they are so expensive that I decided not to, which is causing me the problem of what I have right now. My window's much smaller, but it works. But if I had one of those big windows, then I wouldn't have the issue uh, with the screen and the screen that I have to build. So now I have to build the screen for the trailer. He can actually sit down in his trailer while he's serving customers, which is a huge plus because we're standing up all day. So with it being only three hours, it's not a lot of work, but still, if, you, if I could sit down and uh, have at least the, the cashier sit down, that would be a much uh, easier time for the day for somebody to continue to work. Still a, still a pretty good day though. Just emptying the water out my wastewater out that's the hose then around to the back of the trailer I'm over here at Hatch Kitchen just uh, 
doing a little maintenance. Um, I'm gonna get some water fill up real quick too. It takes a little while for it to empty. It's not that long. It takes a couple minutes for it to empty. Ooh, I'm full. I had two hot dogs, man. Those are some big hot dogs. People, I had one person complain because of the price that I have for a hot dog, but those are some big hot dogs. I was so hungry, my eyes were much bigger than my stomach. I had one, and I should have just stopped there, but I didn't. I had another. And now I am full, completely full. Seem as sturdy as it once was. Yeah, here at Hatch Kitchen, I basically uh, clean what little dishes I have, fill up some fresh water, and uh, empty my gray water. I pretty much do my cleaning on the go. So, and the only real dishes I have to wash are my spatula and the, the paddle smasher, the meat smashers and things like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up and um, Turn the refrigerators back on so things can chill back down. And this is it for the day. So I gotta, I have one more day thing to do for tomorrow, but uh, that'll be in another video. So I guess I'll catch you guys later. Peace.